I'm gonna door dash 24 hours straight without stopping, and there's only one rule. In order to end this challenge without being punished, I have to meet my goal of making at least $500. Otherwise, I have to take an ice bath in my giant red solo cup in 40 degree weather. In fact, for every 100th category lower than $500, I have to add five minutes to the bath. So there is no time to be lazy. I just got our first order for $6 at Hardee's. Door dashing is actually pretty simple. You get to the store, go inside, pick up the food, and then take it to the customer's front door. Hey, I have a DoorDash order for Devin. By the way, you can literally see her paws to look at this camera. And it was so awkward to walk around with this on my chest. Have a good one. Oh, guys. Oh, everybody's looking. <laughs> everybody's looking at the camera. Oh, I don't like this. After the second order, I realized I only made $12, so I really had to pick up the pace. Uh, Ashley, a DoorDash? I have a DoorDash for Amber. You have a DoorDash for Savannah? I have a DoorDash for Amber? Yes. It's 12.48 and uh, we've been doing this for exactly two hours and we've made $29. So basically 15 bucks an hour. What's scaring me is that that is nowhere near the pace we need to succeed in our goal. So let's be clear. In order to make the goal of $500 in the required amount of time, I need to make $20.83 per hour. 400 would be 1660, 300 would be 1250, 200 would be 8.3, and 100 would be just over $4 an hour. In other words, I had no time to be lazy. Hey, I have a DoorDash for Kimberly. It should be over there. Also guys, you have to keep in mind that a lot of the things are out of my control, including the frequency of orders and how long I wait. See ya. Some orders like this one can take up to 10 minutes, but others can be ready when you get there. Another thing that's difficult about door dashing is apartment complexes. They can be like mazes and you have no idea where the right door is. Have a good one. Thank you. By this time I had scheduled another shift because my old one ended, so I kind of lost track of all the money I was making. There wasn't a moment of laziness. I was always moving and I only took a break to eat my lunch. But then it died down. Well guys, I haven't been getting any orders. It's been an hour. So it's like dead now, totally dead. I really don't wanna get in that freaking cup. I sat there for a while, waiting and hoping my phone would just ring until it finally did. Um, I have a DoorDash order for Jenna. Thank you. I really am amazed guys at how many people just don't question me having a camera aimed at their face. It's kind of funny. By this time I've been door dashing for 5 hours and I was just really trying to keep up my pace and keep up my energy. But no matter how fast I moved, I still couldn't help the fact that 5 o'clock traffic was inevitable. Dude! I just got an order for $9. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. That's why 5 o'clock is such a good thing. How am I supposed to make a left turn, bro? <laughs> Things were going really well. I was picking up a lot of orders for fair prices, but then I got lost. A DoorDasher's worst nightmare. 1600, what, why is this 1600? This is ridiculous. This is freaking, why can't I find building 900? This is not freaking worth $6. Thanks for your help. No Have a good one. She was nice. I like nice people. It was getting a lot later, which means it's time to eat again. So I pulled in a parking lot and prepared my shake. The only problem is I have to plug my blender in somewhere. That is a freaking outlet. Look at that. That's a freaking outlet right there. So I ended up getting my 100 foot extension cord, walking across the Kohl's parking lot and plugging it in. I then brought it back to my car where I could connect it to my blender. But there was one major flaw in my genius idea. Please have power. Please have power. Please have power. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. No power. I couldn't waste any more time. My DoorDash could only be paused for so long and my shake was melting in the blender. So I did what any logical person would do in this situation. Oh, you got a blender, Yeah, I was, I was wondering if there's an outlet I could borrow to blend my smoothie. <laughs> it's, uh, it's probably the craziest thing ever, but Aww. I'm uh. We will do it for you. You, you guys are the best, thank you so much. <laughs> I honestly got lucky because they were just really nice people and I actually stayed and talked to them a little bit and I was just super happy to have my shake in my hands but reality slapped me in the face when I looked at my phone and I realized I had less than two minutes left to start door dashing again otherwise I'd be cut from my shift so to make up for lost time I started killing it accepting every order I possibly could beating down the road sacrificing yeah, the Prius's MPG up. just to make it early running around in parking lots I did hey, it I all. have a door dash for Josh uh yeah door dash for Lacey oh my god that smells good and no matter what I I did not stop. 
It's 11 11 right now. It's so weird how long 12 hours actually is. Like, I'm only halfway done. That's it. All right. But as the night went on, orders got fewer and farther between, and this is a 17 mile drive. But all this work doesn't mean I couldn't have fun doing it. <sighs> Look at that clock or whatever that is. This apartment building was an abandoned mill, and there was still a lot of it left to be renovated, so I decided to look around after I dropped off my order. The really cool thing was at the top of the fourth floor, there was a staircase leading up to this weird door, and it looked like a, a bunch of cubbies. I don't know what this could have been for, but it was pretty cool. I couldn't really find anything else interesting in the apartment, so I headed out, knowing that if I didn't, there's no way I'd reach my goal of $500. But this is where things started to get really weird. DoorDash took me 15 miles away to pick up an order at this McDonald's. But the lights weren't on, the screens weren't on, and it just was quiet. I was just gonna sit there until I heard something on the screen because DoorDash shouldn't ever send you to a closed restaurant. But as I was sitting there, I started to hear footsteps. I really didn't think anything of it until they started getting closer. Listen closely, you can literally hear them. I got the freaking chills. Someone was just walking up behind my car. Yo, I got the freaking chill. I'm not kidding. Look at my arms. I got my hair standing up. Dude, I I was just at this weird, weird freaking McDonald's. I look back and I see the shadow. Okay, well, you know what? I gotta be a little more cautious if I'm gonna be doing this this late. I was a little freaked out, but I knew I had to keep going if I wanted to reach my goal. I just wasted 20 minutes driving to a destination that was closed, so I kept waiting for orders. I got a good order, it's like 11 bucks for 7 miles, so I'm gonna do that real quick. But when I got there, I almost couldn't believe it. The store looked closed. It looks closed, like look at this. It looks totally closed. There's something on that. Okay, well it's right there. How do I get it? Hey, uh, I just pulled up and picking up a DoorDash order for James. Uh, let me go look. We've been closed for two hours, uh, so let me go see if there's anything on the rack. All right, okay. I appreciate it. Thank you. There he is. Oh, yeah. Put the camera down. It's, it's ice cold. It's been made for almost three hours now. Wow, that, that's weird. All right, thank you, man. Yes, sir. Something doesn't feel right. It's kind of weird because he said this order has been sitting for two hours. All of a sudden, DoorDash just recommends this to me. I guess I just deliver it, you know? All right, let's do it. I don't know if it's because it's right after that McDonald's thing, but this was a sketchy order. The house was empty. No lights were on. There weren't any cars in the driveway. And why would the order be sitting for three hours before it was given to me to pick up? Five minutes later, I drove by the house to see if the order was still there, and it was. I started to get really, really tired. Like, I could notably see a difference in my driving ability. Like, I'm not swerving across the road or anything yet, but... I get my eyes move slower and everything's a little bit slowed down for me. So I might pull over in a little bit. Alright guys, well, it is 2.51. I've almost been out for 24 hours. I still have 8 hours left, so I'm like 32 thirds till I done. I have to, I have to just take it out for a second. Obviously I didn't want to go to sleep, but I knew that if I kept on driving, I could put myself and others in serious danger. But this is crazy. Around 4 a.m. I woke up and turned my car on because I was really cold. But what I remembered was I turned my car on for 5 minutes, stayed up, and then I turned it right back off. After reviewing the footage, I found out that I left it on for hours. And then woke up in my sleep and turned it off. I totally did all that in my sleep. Later in the morning, I woke up to some birds eating trash on top of my car. No! 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 Why well, am I still in here? As tired and exhausted as I was, I didn't want to move and I especially didn't want to door dash. But I had to make these last few hours count because I knew if I worked hard enough and took every single order, not even taking time to breathe, I would reach my goal of $500 and not have to get in this ice bath. So that's exactly what I did. I put my head down and got to work until it was finally time for my last order. Yes, ma'am. Have a good day. It was done. 24 hours have been completed, and it was time to check how much I made, because at this point, I had absolutely no clue. So I finally pulled out my phone to check the total amount of funds, and... $223.75. Oh my god.
That means it's time for a 15 minute ice bath, which is also the maximum amount of time you're supposed to be in one. The temperature of the water was 48 degrees. Sorry, Once I got in, I realized that I couldn't fit even if I squatted down. So I got the hose and showered myself in the 50 degree water coming out of that. This was the coldest I've ever been in my entire life. But I didn't care how uncomfortable I was or the fact that I might get hypothermia. I was going to finish. I want this channel to grow. I want it so bad. This is why I'm out here. Please just hit the subscribe button. If you want to contribute further, buy some merch. Because I don't make a lot of money right now. And if you guys want to see the full video of me in the ice bath, the link's in the description where you know I did it. 15. 